Манай Монгол гэр бол үнэхээр дэлхийн гайх зорн суд шүү дээ. Гэр бол яг хөө. Авсаархан ямар ч нөхцөлд арглаад одоо цэгцэлж. Баашин гэж одоо аваа юм л тэн биш. Dambadarja Vandadarj is a former nomad. Though now settled, he continues many nomadic traditions, like drinking salty malt tea in his prized traditional silver bowl. For centuries, his people have roamed the plains of Mongolia, relying on a unique tent-style home that Mongolians call a ger. A typical ger is a circular single-room tent supported by wooden lattice frames and lined with felt. Traditionally, gers are seen across Mongolia's vast steppe. But today, hundreds of thousands can be seen in the suburbs of the capital, Ulaanbaatar. The problem is, they were never designed for city life. Hotin to the tonic, kill her out in the bog in the ritual of Natatu, Sanim Shixanachin. Many of the city's migrants are former nomadic herders who lost their animals over a series of harsh winters. Between 1998 and 2002, more than 11 million livestock, including goats, yaks, horses and cows, died. This left many nomadic families without a livelihood. Desperate, most of them came to the capital. In the last two decades, Ulaanbaatar's population has more than doubled to over 1.3 million inhabitants. Over the years, hundreds of thousands of migrant families moved to the city seeking better lives for themselves. And while the population expanded, urban services did not. The only place available for the newcomers was out here in the outlying suburbs that became the Ger districts. And today, the Ger districts account for more than 60% of Ulaanbaatar's total population. Damba Darja moved to Ulaanbaatar in 1996. Like many long-time settlers, he built a small house to replace his gear. But his relative's gear still fill his yard. Harsh winters aren't the only reason the migrants have come here. In 2003, a court ruled that every Mongolian was entitled to 700 square meters of land. Many claimed land around the city center and set up their gears. But city planners hadn't expected such a huge influx into Ulaanbaatar. As a result, these districts have little to no urban services. Roads are unpaved, there is no public sewage system and no easy access to water. In winter, coal-fired stoves are the only heating option. International agencies and NGOs say Gare residents really lack the basics. In the apartments, currently the average usage is about 175 litres per person per day. In the Gare area, it's about nine and a half. Just to give you an idea, in an emergency situation for refugees, the goal is 15 liters per person per day. You have um, groundwater pollution in the Gare area due to the toilets and also the gray water. In the past, the government thought the problem could be solved by moving the residents into apartments. For Khan Suren Dorj, a government school teacher who moved here in 2012, an apartment is a much better option. <laughs> Khan Suren was selected for an affordable housing project initiated by the government. Though cheaper than the market price, she is really stretching the limits to afford the apartment. She borrowed about $16,000 from relatives for a down payment and also got a bank loan of about $25,000. She worries she'll barely be able to afford her payments, especially when her children go off to college. Many like Khan Suren have the same problem. Even with subsidized prices, apartments are still too expensive for most Gare dwellers. So instead, the government is planning to develop the city around the Gare districts. <laughs> Namutin, 
зорлох тавигдсан. Тэгэл энэ асуудал бол нэг үндсэндээ бол 12 оны 8 сараас их хэлж шүү дээ. Үндсэндээ бол уу хотын гэр уулын дэд үцийн асуудлын юу бол шийдэн гэсэн зорлол тавигдчихэж байгаа. 18 оны гэх мэт. Plans include restructuring the gear areas, paving the main roads and bringing water, sewage and heating to these neighborhoods. In May 2014, the government also signed a 16 million dollar deal with the Asian Development Bank to fund the Gare Area Development Program. Some of the work has started, but progress is slow because Mongolia's extreme climate is a challenge. There is a lot of details, but in general you have the climate who change a lot of uh, uh, things because for example putting infrastructure in the minus 40 degree uh, every winter is another is another scale of putting the infrastructure in a tropical country. Most gay residents are excited about the government's new policies. They say this plan is more practical than the one that proposed moving them into apartments. Ер нь бол яг ийм газар амьдрдаг тогтлог орчныг сонгуул тэр байрн байснаас хамаагүй илүү байдаг байхгүй. Хүүхэд гараа тоглох нь Bringing more basic services to the farther reaches of the city is going to be expensive, but many believe the government is moving in the right direction. Угасаал ингээд хүмүүс ингээд тархаж байрлаж байгаа одоо ингээд учраас дэд үзэлцэн шаардлагатай. А зүгээр тэр усны асуудал тэр бохирын асуудлыг шийдэх тал дээр энэ айгүй хүндрэлтэй байгаа мэдээж хэрэг. Тэгэхдээ энэ хийдэг юм шийдэж л байгаа. Тэгэхдээ энд мэдээж урт хугацаа шаарддаг нь засгийн газраас тэгэл байх. Frankly speaking we the, the change is already on the table. You have to understand that Gare was not even in the city master plan before. And very recently it's it's in the city master plan for the first time. Gares have always been a part of the Mongolian identity. And while people long for better infrastructure, many believe the Gare will always have its place. Гэрийг бол л зүгээр энэ Монгол гэргүү бол нь чиж бүр байхгүй. Монгол орон одоо дэлхийн нэг хэзээ л одоо хөгжлийн хоо дээ шатна төрн тэр батал Монгол гэр цог л явж байгаа гэсэн. Улан Баатар's challenge is a unique one. How to incorporate an old lifestyle tradition into the urban landscape and while the plans are falling into place, that challenge could determine the future for the city settled nomads. For Simon Asia, I'm Pearly Jacob in Ulan Baatar, Mongolia.